Are there any concerns with having cables this fragile being the backbone of the internet all the way at the bottom of the ocean? Of course, there's the natural stuff, avalanches and things like that. But more and more, there are hints of sabotage, especially around Northern Europe. There have been a number of incidents lately with you know, Chinese and Russian ships sailing by and then suddenly fiber optic cables being cut. Certainly some of them have been accidents, but some of them seem very suspicious. According to Wired, back in June 2022, a cable got cut in Egypt and it was a disaster. Egypt is one of the centers, right? Because it's what connects the Mediterranean to the Red Sea. And of course the Red Sea connects the Indian Ocean and the cable got cut, which means seven countries in Africa lost their internet. 90% of Ethiopia had no internet at all. When you say no internet at all, this is not just no broadband. This is no cellular, nothing. Well, right. I mean, they're, the cell phones, you know, they could connect to the tower, but the tower couldn't make it to any website in Europe or any website in Asia, which is pretty much every website. They were really, really cut off.